Hi folks, it's Cheryl from Cheryl's Craft and Corner and I want to show you these game piece necklaces that I'm making for a craft fair that I'm doing in a couple weeks. And a friend of mine sends me these game pieces and she drills a hole in them for me at the top and I continue the rest of the process um, to make these necklaces. I've sold quite a few already and I had a request from a friend of mine to make one with a leaf on it. So this one here is a stamped image, has a leaf pattern and some swirls. And what I, how I start to make these is I actually take alcohol ink and I ink the piece to kind of like a, um, a, a light brown or vintage uh, image, um, not image, um, color tone, and then I let that dry, and then I stamp with uh, brown stays on the image that I want to use. In this case, it was this one um, one swirl leaf pattern here. And depending on you know where I kind of set the stamp, I can get whatever image I want. This one here, I have the leaf in the middle, and then these two, I pretty much match them the images at the bottom. So I let that dry and then I add whatever if I want to put a bead or a rhinestone or a gem on the image kind of accenting it somewhere and after that I put some glazing over it to protect it so that the image would not rub off. Add, add a jump ring. Sometimes I make my own jump rings or I'll get them from the um, jewelry store and then I take this natural color braided um, cording and um, make a slider closure so you can make it any length you want. Sometimes people want it lower, some, sometimes people would like to wear the pendant a little higher, depending on what you want to wear. So anyways, I'm selling these at a craft fair and I've made many more and I've actually sold many, many of them that I needed to make more. So. I wanted to show you these. Please stop by Charles Crafton Corner and please feel free to leave a comment. Thanks. Have a great day.